What is up everyone and welcome back to another Pro Guides video. So the new season is here and to be honest, as skeptical as I was coming into this one, I'm honestly loving it. But with the new changes to the game, you guys know what that means. That means the meta is going to shift as well. So it's not gonna be as easy to win games as it was last season. And in this video, we're gonna be discussing how the meta has been impacted by these changes so you guys can get a massive advantage of your friends and start winning more games. But before we get started, let's go to the question of the day. Today's question is, what do you guys think of these brand new changes this season? For me, I'm pretty excited about the mobility options now. I think that it brings a lot more dynamic to the competitive scene. Let me know what you guys think. I read all your comments down below. Love to hear them. And if you guys wanna get better at Fortnite, make sure to click that description link below and go to proguides.com and find your pro coach right now. They'll help you with your 90s, they'll help you with your aim, they'll help you win more games this season. All right guys, let's get right into the video. The first tip in this video is going to be to land at the brand new locations. With the release of Season 2 came the addition of five new locations, including the Agency, the Grotto, the Rig, the Yacht, and the Shark. Landing at these locations often, even if you're just playing public matches and messing around, is a great way to adapt to the brand new changes and all the fun things that have been added in. Along with learning all the new locations and all the unique things about them, you'll also get a lot of the brand new weapons and you can practice with them and learn more about how they work. And finally, landing at these new locations means you'll be contesting a lot of players. Since it's so early on in the season, it'll help you guys get better when you're contested with a bunch of players in ranked. Overall, if you land at the new locations most of your first few games, you'll get the hang of it much faster and you'll also be able to get used to those new weapons and those intense early game situations. That's the real key here. You guys want to practice intense early game situations. The second thing you can do to learn about the new meta is a pretty interesting one, and this is to use all the new weapons and items in creative 1v1s. The process to do this is pretty simple, just use a normal 1v1 map and add a bunch of chests with all the new items and weapons in them. From here, just grab a friend and 1v1 with the new items, mix it up and use a variety of weapons so you can learn about all of them. The reason this is so great and it's better than playing the game is for three reasons. First, when you play the game, you normally run into way less engagements, so you won't gain as much as opposed to the constant fighting you'll get when you're 1v1ing in creative. Second is because in creative, there's less pressure, so you're able to get used to and mess around with different items without the pressure of losing the game and no longer having any weapons. This also helps a ton if you're a bit less skilled and you panic a lot when you play because you won't have to worry about death and you can just play over and over and then test your limits. It's very important to test your limits in most competitive games. Finally, the main reason creative is better is since you can constantly get all the weapons you want instead of having to search around for the rare ones for a long time. Overall, practicing the new weapons and items in creative is super beneficial and will give you guys the edge once you head into a real game. One extra tip for creative is to try and find someone better than you or around your skill level. That way you're always able to get that high quality practice in and then become a better player yourself. And so once you hop into game after practicing with a better player, you're going to probably end up pub stomping yourself and because of all that quality practice you got in with someone who was good. And if you guys want to play with that person or 1v1 someone who's better than you, you should probably check out proguides.com and play with a pro player right now. They are super, super good and they'll actually really help you get better. The third tip, and one of the most helpful ones in this specific meta, is to spend more time training your aim. In this new meta, it's more important than ever to have good aim, and I'll get to the reasoning for that in a bit. Whether you're using Kovacs, Aim God, or even in-game aim trainers, it's absolutely crucial that you focus on aim training. So, you're probably wondering, how do you even train your aim? Well, you're probably wondering, why do you want me to train my aim more? Well, the reason is because building basically got nerfed in this update. Well, it technically didn't, but the new weapons and items, a lot of them at least, are insane counters to building. So it's more like a hidden nerf to building. It's like items like rapid fire SMG, drum gun, minigun, suppressed SMG, and others are all great counters to turtling and spam building, meaning that some of your fights are going to end in an aim battle as opposed to the usual box fighting meta. The meta is still box fighting, but it's not as important as it was, and your aim is starting to become more impactful as a result. So definitely try focusing on your aim training to stay ahead on this meta. 
Fourth up, we want you to start watching pro gameplay. The pros are always ahead of the curve and learn new things many of us have trouble learning. This has always been a relevant tip, but it's even more useful when new seasons come out as pros are often the first ones to find out about the best new tricks and metas of the new season. If you even spend 30 minutes watching a pro player in the new season, I can guarantee you you'll learn a ton about the most optimal loadouts, the best drop spots, the best techniques to use in fights, and so much more. By watching pros, you'll give yourself an edge in terms of learning the new meta, and you'll improve much faster than if you would simply just doing it all your own. While it can be pretty exciting to learn the new tricks on your own, it is much more optimal to learn them from pros. That's why we exist, ProGuides.com, since pros and we are already informed on all the fancy new stuff. So next time you're bored and don't know what to do, watch a bit of pro gameplay, whether it's on YouTube, ProGuides.com, or Twitch. You can always learn their insane new tricks and metas before other players do. And the last piece of advice in this video is to simply grind arena and have fun. Once you've done all those other things, the best thing you can do to improve is simply play the game and put yourself in a bunch of different difficult situations because creative can only get you so far. Also, I hate to say it, but taking things less seriously will actually improve your gameplay and overall mental health. Many of the pros have said it before and it actually works. If you start grinding out some arena games once you've learned about all the new stuff, you'll gain valuable experience with all the new items and also get those points up so you can play in the major tournaments that are coming in the season. Gaining that in-game experience is the best thing you can do once you've learned all your new stuff. Okay guys, so let's quickly recap all the tips we've discussed in this video so you guys can use it in order to improve faster with the brand new season. First off, start landing at the new locations. That way you can adapt faster and learn more about the new features. Alongside learning the new locations and features, you'll also get a hold of the new items a lot more often since they're easier to find in these new locations and also you'll gain some valuable experience in those high pressure situations when a ton of people land with you. Secondly, head into a creative match, set up all the new weapons and chests, and play with the new weapons and items so you can learn them faster. And this is all gonna be in a low pressure environment than you would have in a game. Third, spend more time training your aim. The more you aim train, the better you'll be this season. With all the anti-building weapons that have been added into the game and unvaulted in the new season, your aim is becoming more and more valuable. Fourthly, take some time out of your gameplay to simply watch the pros. Watch them do different things, watch them experiment in their own games, from their loadouts to the different plays they make and strategies they use, to basically anything else the new meta involves. You'll find yourself learning a ton about all the new stuff you should be doing in this meta. The two best sources for gameplay right now are going to be YouTube videos, especially ones in Arena, and also Twitch and ProGuides.com. A ton of pros have been grinding at Arena to reach champs nice and early, so it's definitely worth checking out whoever is live. Finally, once you've checked off everything else on the list, hop into an arena match and just start playing the game. If you've learned a lot about the new season, the best thing you can do is hop in and gain some experience in the actual game. And you can also get those arena points up so when events start to roll around, you don't have to panic trying to grind for the higher divisions. Overall, this brand new season was a massive shift in terms of the meta, and while some of the changes are a little bit sketchy, I think that everything will be balanced out given some time. The one thing I would like to see a little bit more of is kind of a balance between competitive and casual. The mythic drum gun, boom bow, and remote explosives, for example, seem fun, but it's kind of weird. It's lowering the skill cap in competitive, which is the exact opposite of what we want to see here. But overall, this is shaping up to be a pretty awesome season, and I'm looking forward to being here with you guys, helping you improve and master the new meta. Once again, guys, it's been Kristoff. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys want to improve at Fortnite, make sure to click the description link below and go to proguides.com to find your pro coach right now. That's it for the vid guys. Thank you so much for watching and good luck in your next few games.